You know, Jerry, I just want to tell you, you have a tendency to kind of make us do several episodes in a row about the same types of things. Like, we'll do several fossil episodes in a row, and then we'll do several rock episodes in a row, and then it's... Well, I mean, those are mostly the two things we do on the show now, uh, because I guess they're just the easiest for you to acquire. I don't know, but, like, can we break them up, maybe? Do an episode on, like, trees? Hey there, kids, it's me, Safari Sam, and today we got a fun little guy for you. Check this puppy out. It is a gypsum desert rose, or a gypsum rosette. Whatever you want to call it is absolutely 100% dank memes. So, the gypsum desert rose. Or, you know, gypsum is actually a hydrated calcium sulfate. And it's a type of sedimentary rock called an evaporite. Yeah, so it's formed at the bottom of shallow bodies of salt water containing calcium and sulfur, just like my ex-wife's heart. And, you know... As the salt water evaporates, dissolved calcium and sulfur in the water become concentrated and precipitate as the mineral gypsum. Congratulations, you learned a fact. Anyways, gypsum crystals occur in these rose-shaped aggregates, often incorporating grains of sand, and these gypsum desert roses grow by replacing carbonate sediment in soil, overlying gypsum deposits. So when gypsum is heated, and ground to a fine powder. It is known as Plaster of Paris, used in construction. Plaster of Paris was first produced in the Montmartre quarries of Paris, France. And this specific specimen that you're looking at here is just a single rose, it's not part of a cluster. And it's from North America. Very cool. Very cool. Look at that. I just, it's such a unique looking rock. It looks like a giant piece of weedy cereal. Doesn't it? It's very cool and a very popular stone for collectors like ourselves, seekers of knowledge within natural science and natural history. It's a very interesting little fucker. And we're done looking at it. Good boy. Fuck you. All right. Now we're going to take a look at last week's what is this specimen so every once in a while we do a segment on the show called what is this we've been doing a lot of them recently and it's when i show you a specimen at the end of the episode you try to identify it in the comments section down below and then in next week's episode i tell you the specimen so you know if you were correct or not and this week's specimen is a sea sponge fossil yeah you see the big paws and everything on it that is a sea sponge. This is a SpongeBob corpse. 100%. Well, except that it's rock now. It's petrified because it's a fossil. You see where it attached and everything? Very cool piece. It's hella ace swag yellow. Very nice. Alright, so we're going to put that aside. Put that back in its little box. And, uh, yeah, that's it for today's episode. Thank you all very much for tuning in. If you want to support the show, uh, please check out our eBay page. We sell all kinds of stuff on there. It's mostly, like, trading cards right now, but we are trying to expand it. More action figures, comic books, uh, and also scientific specimens. We're really trying to load it up. We were thinking about making an Etsy and putting all the fossils and rocks on Etsy because they seem to do well on that site, but Etsy is just such a dick to work with. Honestly, they're such assholes. It's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. But oh well. And there's no what is this specimen for today. Sorry everyone, but uh, maybe we'll have one next week. So that's it. Thank you all once again. We also got a Patreon you can support us on, and etc. And we'll see you all next time. Oh Jerry. Oh sweet, sweet Jair Bear. What specimen do you have for me next? What sweet, suckable succulents do you have for Daddy Sam? Please don't tell HR. <laughs>